Have you come across being inside your house and you're just looking around and all of a sudden you see this wall that is just pretty much all by itself, lonely, nothing, just bare, and pretty much you need to spike it up a little bit, you know, make it a little bit more fun to look at. Well, I have an idea for you. If you want to see your wall go from this to now this, just keep on watching. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Veronica Ponce. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. Also, click the bell to get notified every time I do an upload. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So, as I was saying before, when we moved into this house, um, they have this house right here has very tall ceiling. <laughs> I think it's about 20 feet, 22 feet or something like that. So I knew it was going to be a challenge trying to come up with something in order to decorate it. Um, that way it doesn't look too plain because obviously before it did look very, very plain. And I wanted to make something really nice out of it. Uh, so I was, uh, one of the things that I do follow a lot is Pinterest. That's one of my favorite apps because it also gives you inspiration. And I did see a lot of them that had like offices and they had a little bit of canvas and stuff like that. So I figured, hey, why not? That would actually be a good idea to actually put the family and stuff like that. And then kind of, you know, with me loving uh, rhinestones, bling it up a bit. <laughs> so that's when I came across this idea and I was searching and stuff like that. So I came across Walgreens. Obviously, they do canvas. So I went ahead and researched to see how much it costs. Good thing is that Walgreens does always offer good discounts when it comes to the photo department. I will go ahead and leave a video right here of me actually making my order. The code that I have currently in that video, obviously it did expire because it was in January, but every month they do have different discounts, so please make sure that if you are going to do this, check the discount so you can get your money off uh, from your purchase. Okay, hey, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is you want to go into the walgreens.com website. You can either do it on the website itself or you can actually download the app either way. Um, as you can see right now, there is a really, really good deal for the canvas. Um, there is 60% off with the code Big Freeze. Uh, this is good until January 30th. I'm going to go ahead and select my canvas. If you go down here below, you have the same day pickups. I'm going to go into the canvas print and you have different selections. Once you click on the drop down for the size, you will have uh, some little red pictures that are next to the prices. Those indicate that you can go ahead and pick up from the store. Uh, you can select whichever size you want. For this particular one, I do want a big one to um, get for my, uh, for my daughter. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the 16 by 20, uh, but I want to go ahead and create frameless. And then I also want to create a portrait side. Uh, and then once I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and create now. And then it's going to go ahead and prepare it for you. Um, right here, albums, you can, if you already have your album set up, you can do it that way. If not, you can go ahead and upload from your phone. You would just click on the upload button, select from your, um, from your folders on your phone and drop it into Walgreens and you're set. For me, I already had it here uh, ready to go. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click add photos. I have this one right here already. I'm going to go ahead and click in the middle of the frame and that will bring me into the edit mode. I, my wall for my pictures, I have them all black and white. So I'm going to select black and white. Now I'm done editing, but what I, because I am putting rhinestones on all the borders, I don't want the picture to go over the border. So I'm going to go into layouts and right here you have photo wrap and you have color wrap on the left hand side. I'm going to select the color wrap, which means is that the picture is now going to, it's going to go ahead and get a little smaller, but then everything will fit into the frame, which that's one of the things that I do like. And then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click on the up arrow. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the background. And I'm going to go ahead and select a um, kind of like a gray color. Uh, it really doesn't matter for me, but because I, I am putting the rhinestones, but at least we'll keep it gray. And that's pretty much how it's going to stay. Um, then once I do that, I am pretty, uh, pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and select the review and see if I like the way it looks. And it looks perfect. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and proceed um, on to my account. As you can see, I already had some done. So let me go ahead and remove one of them in there. And uh, pretty much we are going to go ahead and put the coupon here and it is big freeze. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in, apply the coupon. And then from $229, it went down to $91. I love it. And like I said, this is a really, really good alternative to go ahead and decorate your wall. So I'm going to go ahead and check out and then I should be able to pick it up in about an hour and a half, two hours. And that's it for this one. Um, after that, I went ahead and decided, hey, you know, my house is more of a... Um, you know, rhinestone, silver, gold, uh, you know, gray colors and stuff like that. So I didn't want it to have color on the frames. So I went ahead and did the canvas black and white. 
um, I figured that was going to go ahead and give it more character to the wall. And not only that though, uh, because of the fact that it was 20 feet high, <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and put some lights. That way it would actually, you know, reflect the rhinestones and you can see it a lot better. So we went ahead and got an electrician and we ended up installing six lights. Uh, the lights um, also, they have rhinestones. It's like a kind of like a mini chandelier looking. <laughs> I will go ahead and also leave the video so you can see it. Uh, but it was really cool to actually, you know, get all these uh, canvas and, and do all the work and put all the rhinestones and stuff. I will also leave a video of how I did it um, as far as me putting the rhinestones around the frame. Things you are going to need for this project would be a canvas, whatever size you choose to do it, some scissors, E6000 glue, and your choice of rhinestones. I ended up picking the roll of 24 um, rows because I felt that this would be a lot faster <laughs> to actually do this project. And look at this. It shines so beautiful. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and start from the beginning right here. And I'm going to go ahead and end it at the edge. And that's where I'm going to go ahead and see uh, how many it is. So it goes from here to here, as you can see. So I'm going to count it. So it's two, four, six, eight. So it's eight rows. And I'm going to go ahead and measure. Let me go ahead and just cut it here. Two, four, six, eight. That way I don't forget. And then I'm going to go ahead and measure the length as far as how long I need it. And then I just go from here. And then right where it stops, that's where I'm going to go ahead and cut it. So it goes right here. I'm going to cut it right here. So here's one side. Uh, you're going to need two of these. I have now two uh, for those sides. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and measure the same thing. We have a total of four strands here. As you can see, we have four. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our E6000 right here. And we're going to start. You can start with whatever edge you want. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put a line. So I'm just going to take the glue and then just kind of go make, put glue all in the edges, just like that, right in the middle as well, kind of like a scribbly line, and then go across. And then you're going to go ahead and grab the strand. And we are going to, so it's going to look something like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then we're going to go ahead and place it on the top. I'm just going, I'm laying one edge all the way where I need it to be because at least I want to start fresh make sure that it is all the way front and just keep pressing it down if you see some edges that don't have enough glue just grab it and put some on there what i did with mine is that i also made one row come all the way in the front only one row of these so that you can actually see the rhinestone from the front a little bit i did that in the entire um square you can see i already did two sides here right here and like i said uh, here in the corner i did have to add uh two rows so that's okay, you can't really tell since uh, we, I didn't measure it right. But uh, one of the things I do recommend is that if you are doing this project, you're gonna go ahead and put it onto a box because obviously you can't lay it flat. I mean, you can't lay it this way because obviously it's gonna be in the way. Or these, you can't uh, lay it on the rhinestones yet because it's still fresh. So if you have it on a box, that would give you room to actually play here and uh, put them on. Now I'm gonna take the longer side and I'm gonna go ahead and place the, the rhinestones. As you're doing each edge, make sure that, or each side, Make sure that you're going around and you're pressing it so that it stays all the way down because sometimes with us moving the canvas, it will tend to move. So you just want to make sure you go around so often and press it to make sure nothing has moved. All right, so this is what it has right now. So pretty much the edges are all done. But now what I want to do is I want to still put one more row on the front so you can see that spark coming through. So that's why I ended up cutting um, single ones and these are going to be all around the border in the front. Okay, so the last part we're going to do is the edges, um, like I said, the border at the top so that we can see the rhinestones coming through. So I'm going to go ahead and put a thin line right at the front near the line that the rhinestones start. I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way till the end. And then I'm going to grab the ones that I cut, which are these right here. Make sure your rhinestones are facing up. And then you're just going to lay them right at the top. And then you're going to do that all the way. Okay, so this frame, this uh, canvas is completely done. Like I said, it's your choice if you want to do this color or a different color, but I just wanted to give you an idea. And um, having this row at the front, I believe, in my opinion, made a huge difference. And it looks really, really nice. So, um, yeah, this is how it came out. If you are doing this, make sure that you do leave it for 24 hours out so that it fully dries before you actually hang it on the wall. I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones off camera, and then I'll show you the final result. At the end, once you have your canvas already made, it's just time for you to know where to align it, you know, to make it nice and pretty. As you can see right here, there is the wall right there. It's really high. And that's what it looks like with the light off. So 
So that's pretty much how I have it here. Like I said, it was, um, I thought to me it looked really, really pretty and nice and it gave it that extra touch. Uh, you don't have to put canvas. You can actually do regular frames. You can match the colors or you could even do the color pictures, but I thought this would be something to have the family. And one of the things that I do love about this particular wall right here is that when you're actually coming into the house, when you open the entrance door, that's the first thing you see in the house. So uh, to me, that detailed and uh, was a very, you know, um, personal and it was really, really nice to actually see it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and also click the bell to get notified every time I do an upload. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!